In this video, we show you an awesome tool that I absolutely love even more than Andrew. It's called Ift. Come on then, let's do it. What? Have you, have you upset you? Yes. He was hurt, Pete. Let's get on with it. This tool, Ift, does so, so much that if we were to show you it all, this video would be like ridiculously long, as big as Pete's hair. <laughs> but today, we just wanted to show you how you can use it to create Twitter lists. And why is this important? Because Twitter is super ridiculously noisy. Yes, thanks, Pete. <laughs> If you log into Twitter, go to that home feed, you'll know how many tweets actually come through, how much spam so comes many. through, how much crap comes through, how many retweets from other people that you don't even know comes through. And if we really want to use Twitter right, we have to find a way to cut through all that. And a great way to do that is by using lists, where we are segmenting our Twitter followers into specific groups of people, jumping into our lists and interacting with those people rather than jumping to the home feed because you wanna be interacting with specific people rather than it just being kind of a scattergun approach, logging into Twitter and see who's talking about it. If you can get a little bit more strategic and actually hunt out some people to actually interact with and build relationships with, Twitter is gonna work so much better for you. But if you were to do that all manually, that might take some time creating these lists. So that's why lists are so important and if we can automate it, even better. The way Ift works is through different applets or recipes as they used to be called. Because applets is a word, you know. Mm. <laughs> Ift stands for if this, then that. So for example, if somebody does this action on Twitter, then add them to this list. There's lots of different recipes or applets mm -hmm. uh, right that you key. can take. And we're going to go through our three favorite just for you and how to set them up. Let's jump into the computer. So this is Ift. It is just I-F-T-T-T dot com. If this is the first time you are using this website, then you will have to just quickly create an account with the sign up button. So once you have an account, there are loads and loads of different applets here that you can start connecting. Yeah, and, and they're not all for business either, are they? No, they're not even all for business. Like update your Android wallpaper with new NASA photos. <laughs> That's, like, cool. That's crazy. And the great thing about this is that as you add a new applet, it will automatically ask you to link that whatever account it is to it. Yeah. So we don't have to worry about setting up loads of accounts on here. You just kind of do it as you go. Awesome. So Twitter specifically, there is a great search bar. So if we just type in Twitter lists, it will bring up all the applets that are about Twitter lists. So we are gonna show you three specific applets that we really like using for Twitter lists. But we would definitely recommend going in here and having a look around, seeing what else you can do, because there are so much. The first one we are going to do is we are going to create a Twitter list around a hashtag. So this allows us to, every time someone uses a specific hashtag, we can create a list of those people. So it's super easy to set up. All you do is click into it, turn it on. Then it will ask for permission. You should only have to do this once though. So once we have linked our Twitter account to it, now we just have to configure this upload. And that is super, super easy to do. So we just add in the hashtag. So SMMW17, an event we're speaking at next year. <laughs> and a list name, so give it a, a list name. So we could say people talking about SMMW17. So obviously for us, it'll be wonderful to have a big list of people that are going to be at an event that we are speaking at, because now we can actually go in, check out that list of people, engage with them before the event, during and after, and keep up with everyone there. But it doesn't always have to be around an event, it doesn't have to be around the event you're speaking at even. Um, just try and think about relevant hashtags that your audience are gonna be using. Your potential customers or people that you potentially want to work more with. And just start creating lists of people using these hashtags automatically. So this is literally how easy it is. You put in the hashtag, you put in the list name and you click save. Boom. That will automatically start creating a list of people. The next one we wanna show you is this, automatically add users who at mention you to a Twitter list. This one is even simpler to set up. Click on it, turn it on, 
give the list a name. So we could maybe call this mentions. Click save. You're done. Boom. And this is great for keeping in touch with people who are already engaged with you. They've already had some kind of interaction with you on Twitter and you just want to warm up that relationship even more by keeping in touch with them. And we can do that by putting them all in a Twitter list and then checking this Twitter list on a regular basis. And the final app that we wanted to show you was all the way down here. Let me find it, Pete. This one. Keep a Twitter list of people whose tweets you've liked. Again, this one is super simple to set up. You just turn it on. And this one actually automatically gives a list, but if you want to change that, just jump into the settings and change the list name. So you could say likes, click save, and you are done. This one's really, really good if you have a liking strategy. A lot of people will only like certain tweets, for example, industry thought leaders, tweets that are quite poignant, or people that are sharing great content, or even people that are saying nice things about you on Twitter. Exactly. Yeah, so if you have got a liking strategy, this is a great way of keeping track of all the people who you like. Now it's important to note that it doesn't go back historically, it just starts building the lists from here on in. So it's really important that you get this implemented now, even if you're not ready to use it now, just so you can start building these lists of people. Another important thing to note is that it always will create these lists as public lists, which means people will know that they've been put in to these lists. So what you want to do is go to your Twitter profile, click on lists, and click on your list, click edit, and make sure it is private. <laughs> Back in the room. Back in the Hope room. that was super helpful for you guys, and get listing! And if you want to do more on Twitter, then we have a free guide for you. It's called Get Your Tweet On. Oh, yeah. It's a complete guide on getting more visible on Twitter and using it more strategically in your business. So grab that below. The link is there. Yes. And yeah, go and get tweeting, guys. I've been Andrew. And I've been Pete. And he's still in my bad books. Ow. I feel better now.